Welcome back. We're looking at this thing, which is sometimes referred to as the turntable puzzle. Because it turns. Well, we've already seen that it's not possible to take the sphere immediately to the exit route, because that hole is blocked, presumably by Savidra. We've also seen that taking the sphere here, and then trying to take it there, also leads to a blocked solution, because we can't actually get it to go there after it landed there. So, what happens instead if we take the sphere over there? And then back again. Hmm. Let's see. Let's just have this rotate half, and... Well, I don't really know what to do with this side at this point. Let's also make it rotate half. Just so we don't have to wait for the full rotation. And then it fell into the sea. Hit some innocent sea turtle on the head. Because there was no bottom to the ring that was underneath this track when it went back. So that's another thing that we need to keep in mind when we're trying to solve this puzzle. So it comes out here, goes there. Then we take it here goes there. Taking it back obviously doesn't work. But, when we've rotated this side over here, that means that these and these have a floor, so we need to take it from there all the way to there. So again, we start with half a rotation. And then we need to rotate um, four positions to get it to go here, then there, and then it should rotate one more to launch it that way, which means we need our final pin in here. And then it should hopefully connect to that track leading away. Let's see if this works. It does, so far, but we already knew that. And then back to the right. The thing that actually stops uh, the rotation is the pins dropping through. So the fact that Savidro stopped the other pin from falling, that's what blocks us from using that hole. And it goes back inside. And raises the last of the three bridges and drops it again. And gives us another pattern to use. No sense in going back and trying that. I'm sure it'll work. But we need a third one to actually get to the structure. So I'm thinking we should look for that first. I wonder what happens to the spheres when they go back inside. They get collected somewhere? There's a giant basket of spheres inside. That would be interesting to see. Although I suppose since they are made of ice, they would melt eventually. Um, another interesting thing to notice here is that um, the, p uh, the surrounding line of the pattern is green, 
Whereas the previous one was yellow. That is not actually all that important. But it is true. And it does have something to do with something else, which I will point out once we get there. Uh, we need to get down again, don't we? So that's two. I'm guessing that uh, contraption we saw on that side is number three. Seems to be a reasonable guess. Let's see if we can get there. Some kind of weird spiraling pattern that the ball follows here. It looks like we're walking over the track for this bit. What the hell's that? Is that a Stargate? I hope not. It's a funky beat. Note to self, don't ever use the word funky again. Whoa! This is kind of weird. What the hell is going on? My eardrums are bursting. This is a very uncomfortable sensation. Let's get out of here. Whoa. Well, it may be um, groovy. But that's not really any better than funky now, is it? Um, but it is weird. What purpose does it serve? Let's see. There's a path off to the side. And the panel. Oh! We can change the sound. This one is even worse. This is upsetting my balance. Inner ears are getting disturbed and stuff. Nice touch that the animation is different as well, matches the sound. Does that accomplish anything? It's not getting any more comfortable, that's for sure. So we have five settings. This one doesn't seem to do anything. I hope it's supposed to not do anything, and that's not more sabotage. Sabotage, if you're William Shatner. Which I'm not, so I'll just say sabotage instead. Um, let's see. One has to wonder what this does to the sphere. It is made of ice may not respond too well to it. Let's see what we have here. That's where the spheres are going to come from, I'm guessing. Then we have one, two, three, four, and five of these paths. And they all seem to have one of those vibration rings, is what I'm going to call them. I have just now decided. And I'm guessing we have to manipulate the settings somehow, but I don't know how. If this is part of one of those puzzles, like that one... Oh, you know, would you look at that? The whole turntable thing is actually tilted! to make it look like it's straight from the position of where you're standing. Huh. Neat. 
perspective tricks. If this one is like the others, there should be a control panel somewhere. Ah, there it is. How do we get there? Not via any of these tracks, but I think we can go down. Yes. Um, let's see... Another painting! Well, if the whole revenge business doesn't work out for Savidro, he can always become an artist. And what does this show? People of Narayan. Carrying arms, facing each other. War. War never changes. Civil war, as it seems, I think. With Savidro stuck in the middle, I guess this is Savidro. And Cyrus and Akinar looking on from above and laughing at the carnage they caused. I guess that's the result of what we heard. Cyrus and Akinar promised they could fix the age. The elders didn't believe it. Other people may have believed them. And the result was conflict. Which I'm sure amused Cyrus and Akinar to no end. Again, I don't think it's all that hot here, so this is not the final painting that... Savidro was talking about. Um, let's see, how do we get to the panel? It's supposed to be behind here somewhere. And... This kind of looks like crudely made steps. And indeed, it takes us to the panel. Which I assume, as usual, does nothing while we're down here. So let's go up instead. There we go. Gives us a good view of the track. There's the turntable. The uh, there's the half pipe, and there's the orbiter, or if that's indeed what it's called. And there are some pages. Focus, Savidro. You must not let the fog come and swallow you. There are long spells, I think. Days, maybe months at a time, when I can't remember what I've done. Fog crawls so thick around me. Even if I hold my hand in front of my eyes, I barely see it. I strain and strain and strain, but nothing sticks. I think... I think his son's kin visits us twice. On Orion. The first time, Atrus asked me to meet them. He told me they would come through the book. He says they will not understand how your words fit together, but they will use them to open the shield. Orion, he says, is where their lessons come together. Orion is the sum of what they must learn. I remember, Tamra was carving a spirit mask into the tree the day the boys arrive. She tucks my sleeve to get attention, points at a glide ship in the sky. I'm shocked by how young the boys appear. They look so much like their father, yet they are different somehow, too. They're more impatient. They're angry not to be treated like men. I take them to our home. I tell them I will teach them how to care for it. I say, together we will encourage the lettuce tree to grow tall. They ask me why they have to work so hard. They tell me, No, Savidro, that was later. That was after Atrus took them away. You know this, because when you see them saying these things, they're older. Their faces have become angled and hard. They have grown up into men, and something dark is in their eyes. They tell you they've come back to fix Narayan. 
pieces are become are beginning to fit together, don't they? Even the first time they were there, they already questioned why this hard work was necessary. And it seems they just followed up on that the next time they came, claiming that they could change that. The fork that he's talking about seems to be just memory loss, a mental problem. I don't think it's literal fuck. I wouldn't I wouldn't be surprised if the brothers actually poisoned Savidro during the torture and that's part of the fog or maybe he just went mad from loneliness that's equally possible I guess Let's see what happens here if we release the spear That rhymes It breaks And then we have to wait for that thing to continue complete its rotation. And then it resets. Okay, so the sphere doesn't really like all the various vibrations, as I expected. It breaks when it hits the uh, sound waves. What can we do about that? Now, this resembles the uh, control panels we saw on each of the vibration rings. What the hell? And then it was silent. This turns them off. Well, that's easy then. Oh. Damn it. It turns him back on when I pull the lever. That's just not fair. What? Ah. Did you see that? That one went off. Now that one. Now the one on the right is off. Now the first one is off. The ball, as it makes the full circuit, turns them off in sequence. Problem is that the sequence does not match the course taken by the ice sphere. So I'm guessing it's our job to make it follow that course. Well, let's see. So the first one turns that off second one turns that off. Which one turns the first one off? I just want to check. The last one. The fifth button turns the first one off. Well, I don't think we can change the order here, so I'm guessing we're going to have to do something with those switches down below. So let's head back there. No signs of any sabotage here so far. I'm guessing Savidro may not have been able to sabotage everything. Or he did not think it necessary, that's also possible. Climb back up here. Let's see. So we know that this one, this is the one the ball that the sphere goes through first, was turned off by the fifth button. And it is in fact set to number five. Is that a coincidence or am I on to something here? The first uh, button turned off. See, the sphere comes from there, goes there, and the one to the left of that was turned off by the first button. Yep, 
Let's set the number one. So it seems like the frequencies themselves don't actually matter. It's purely um, the order. This one should be number two, if I'm correct. Because this one was turned off by the second button, and it is. So all we need to do is set them into the correct order, if I'm right about this. And that is something we'll have to do in the next video.